Hey, what's up and welcome back to the Zeppelin video series. In this video, we will be covering what you can do with Zeppelin when it comes to collaboration and collaborating with your teammates, clients and other stakeholders that are related to your project. Zeppelin is giving us a variety of features to collaborate with different people. And the first thing that you need to do is to, of course, add members to your project. You have to be in the uh, like root screen of your project on the dashboard. And then you have to click this little um, settings icon. And there you can invite users by username or by email, depending on what you have. Um, you can then, once they are invited, uh, send them a web link and this will open your, like your browser or their browser and uh, you can also send them an app link and this will basically open their Zeppelin app and uh, guide them to the project. You can also send the you can also send anyone basically a link to the scene and the scene is something that is very good very incredible um you are getting a link and everybody with this link it doesn't have to be an invited user it can be basically anyone um can see a, a an overview of the zeppelin project so you're getting that you're giving them the color palette the text styles um and also an overview of the designs that you uploaded and that are in the project and you can also like them so give them some hearts right here some love um, that's pretty cool you can basically send this to somebody who's watching it maybe just a single time uh, somebody who isn't really related to the project somebody who does not want to uh, create a Zeppelin account or something like that so people who aren't really related to the project but maybe still need to get some information about about it without having the ability to interact with you directly but more importantly it's awesome that Zeppelin has so many cool features uh, related to collaboration and one of those features is adding a note now um, you can simply click the note adding icon right here or you can go and hit uh, CMD comment and add a note and then you have like a number right here because that, that will be important if you have multiple um, multiple like notes in here so imagine you're opening your screen and you have so many notes it will be quite important to have a some kind of i don't know um like order in which you will work on them and that way you can also jump into a call and say okay i read note number two and uh what do you mean with that or whatever like that so that's very important um then we have like a color selection right here because maybe you you are having like a color system inside your team and you are saying for example uh green means that this is a great feature a great idea or a good way that you designed it and you have maybe red which and red is a note about um I don't know a a feature a design a color that isn't as uh, that, that isn't perfect yet so maybe the person who is creating this red note is saying uh why are we using a orange color in here because our main call to action color is blue or something like that so you can think about what kind of color system you want to uh, have in your Zeppelin projects and of, yeah, of course, you can also just say that a certain person who is adding the node has a, a color. So person A is having the, the uh, yellow color and maybe a second person is adding nodes to it and likes the purple color. So that you know which node came from which person. Of course, you also see their profile in here, but that way you can directly see it if you didn't even open the node yet. You can of course also hide these notes with the little uh, monkey emoji right here. Um, 
that way you can either uh, hide them and just work on the design or view them if you want to see what they uh, wrote on your design. Then something that's also quite cool is uh, on the right side you have your information about the screen. You also see the colors, like all of the colors uh, that are inside such a screen and all of the assets that can be downloaded. Um, but also the complete list of notes in here. So um, then you can filter it a bit. It's also filtered by color and that way you can really collaborate with the developer or for example the product manager who is looking at your design and is saying uh, I don't know if uh, about the certain colors, texts, uh, fonts or whatever. And another cool feature that I want to show you is pop out. You can pop out your screen with this little icon right here and it is giving you a preview of it and you can change the zoom level and the level of transparency and basically what the developer is now able to do is to open up uh, Xcode or whatever and to use this pop out and to lay it above the development screen and to just check out if the alignments are good, if the text is uh, good, if the icons have the correct size or whatever and they can change the level of transparency right here and it's basically um, like a very good feature to check and test the design, the developed design um, once they are ready with it or once they are able to test it out. And maybe the developer then noticed that you have to correct something in your design and he created a note right here and posted something and you said okay uh, he posted like I don't know about the spacings maybe you can change it up and you got uh, a correction for it then the things you can do here are I don't know typing like uh, typing an icon or typing something like uh, you are you are right typing that in posting it and then you can also delete the note you can edit it and you can also resolve it so i don't know click resolve now it's gone or click delete if it was wrong maybe and that way uh, you are able to work with these notes and collaborate with the developer or with the product manager basically the people who are involved in the project and for me it's most of the time a developer or the product manager and we are interacting in Zeppelin by giving us notes by um, having a call and collaborating, having Zeppelin open once we do a screen sharing and to just use it for the collaboration. So for example, if we are in a screen sharing session, uh, we are not using Sketch to work and collaborate. We are simply opening um, Zeppelin because all the artboards are in here and you can click through them so easily and that is just so clean and uh, giving you the features that you need for the collaboration by not cluttering the screen with unnecessary things but it's really focusing on the features that are important uh, for the collaboration process. Okay, hope you enjoyed this, hope you learned something new. Stay tuned for the next and upcoming videos and we see us in the next one. Bye!